What is up guys? My name is Ben Howell. Thanks for checking out the channel. If it's your first time here, or even if you've been here before, why not hit that subscribe button? So you might have seen my video last week on how and why you should use the four cable method. And that got me thinking, what about using the four cable method with something like the Helix? Now I have used the Helix with an amp before and I have used it in a four cable method, but I think there is a much easier way we can configure the Helix to do the four cable method. So as some of you might know, the Helix can actually run four separate paths of audio. When you load up a blank patch, you see the first two audio lanes, but there are actually another two that you can engage just by splitting those paths. So with all the ins and outs that there are on the Helix, it occurred to me that there's a really easy way to do the four cable method. We can use one lane of audio processing in the Helix per cable that we're sending to the amplifier. What I mean by that is that top lane of audio can be just for things that we want in the front of the amp, and that second lane of audio can be things that we want in the effects loop. If you need an explanation on why you might want to use the effects loop instead of putting pedals in the front, you can watch one of these videos that I'll put in the cards. So, four cable method with a Helix. Set it up. Okay, so I've got the Helix out and I've loaded up a blank preset. And as you can see, we've got two paths of audio. So the way I'm gonna set this up is I'm gonna use this top path just for effects that we want to go in the front of the amp. And we're gonna use the second path just for effects that we want in the effects loop. So the first thing we need to do is just set up a few effects. So I've just set up a few basic effects in the kind of order that I would do when I'm using four cable method. So in front of the amp, we've got a compressor and two drive pedals, and in the loop, I've got a delay and a reverb. So the next thing we need to do is sort our ins and outs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the quarter inch out, but I'm gonna pan them hard left and right so that only that top line of audio is getting sent to the front of the amp, and the bottom line of audio is getting sent to the effects loop. So to do that, we just go to the output. At the moment it's set to multi-output, so that means it's outputting on everything that the Helix has. I'm gonna change this to quarter inch, and I'm gonna pan it all the way to the left. So that means that that line of audio is only coming out of the quarter inch, only on the left output. So next I'm gonna sort the input for this second line of audio. Come over to the input, I need to change this to return one. The Helix has a load of loops on the back that can use all kinds of things, patching in different pedals and things like that. I'm gonna use return one to be the signal being sent from the amp's effects loop into that line of audio. So now I've sorted the input for that line of audio, let's sort the output. So I've set it to that quarter inch jack again, but this time I'm gonna pan all the way to the right which means that that audio is only gonna come out of the quarter inch output on the right socket. So that's all the pedals and ins and outs sorted. All you need to do now is cable it up. So flip round to the back of the Helix, and the first cable that I'm gonna do is the cable out from that first line of audio to the front of the amp. And if you remember, we pan that output all the way to the left on the quarter inch output, which is gonna be this socket here. The other end of that cable goes right into the front of the amp. The second cable that I'm gonna do is the input to that second line of audio, which if you remember, we assigned to return one, which is this socket here. And the other end of that cable is coming from the send on the effects loop on the amp. And the last cable to do is that output from that second line of audio, which we also set to quarter inch out, but we panned it all the way to the right, so that's gonna be this jack here. And the other end of that cable goes to the effects return on our amp. And that's it. All that's left to do is to plug our guitar into the guitar in, and that's our four cable method set up. So there you go. How quick and easy is that to set up? Rather than really having to mess about with the loops that are on the Helix, it's just a case of panning that quarter inch left and right and using each of those audio lanes separately. So all you really have to do is split up your effects into those you want into the front and those that you want after the preamp. Use the top line of audio just for those effects that you want to hit the front of the amp and that bottom line of audio for all those effects that you want through the effects loop. Then it's just a simple case of panning those outputs left and right, setting that input of that second lane of audio to return one, and you're good to go. One of the big advantages of doing things this way is that it's really easy to move effects around and see what works best in front and what works best in the effects loop. So you can really dial in the sound that you're after from each and every pedal. 
So I hope some of you guys found this useful. If you did and you liked the video, give it a thumbs up below. If you want to watch another video on my channel, you can click just up here. And don't forget to subscribe, you can do it right there. I'll see you in the next one.